Okay, and we're live. Yes, we are. Welcome back to another hello, episode hello. of Planet Crafter. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to be checking out a couple of more bases today. Actually, just a couple, just two of them. So we got uh, Vanilla Gorilla. Uh, he's not with us, but uh, we're going to be checking out his base as well as uh, Mr. Chris Van Dyke. So that's going to be interesting. I think he left a couple of Easter eggs for us, so that's going to be kind of cool. And, uh, Always exciting. Yeah, I think it's going to be kind of cool. So let's jump into it. So I think if I go to all of my survival saves over here, and there's a ton of them, I think it is. We've got survival eight is Mr. Chris Van Dyke, and uh, survival four is Vanilla Gorilla. So I think we're going to jump into Chris Van Dyke's one first. I think so. Because Vanilla yeah. Gorilla, he's got a kind of a cool base. But uh, let's go and check what's happening. Yes, Orano, good evening. Or morning, people. Yes, exactly what I said. Is it morning? Is it afternoon? Okay, so we're starting off. Let's see what's happening. Okay, please start at the Stargate. Observation. The rest is totally up to you. The single blue beacon at the, what is at the Sandfall biome. Very proud of my creation there. Okay, so thank goodness we got some things going on. And uh, we got a whole bunch of food as well as water. Thank you so much for that. Wow, we got a lot of signs going on. Number three, the launch platform is a failed project. I don't know what to do with, okay, I don't know what to do with it, I guess. Number four, I wanted to build a base on top of the fertilizer platform, but the lightning is horrible. The lighting is horrible, sorry. What am I saying? The lightning. And uh, yeah, what do we got? Um, number five, the aluminium and mushroom river are not interesting. I have yet to deconstruct aluminium and mushroom river is to collect future larva. Okay, cool. So that's basically what he says. So he says we need to go and start at the Stargate, but I guess we're going to need to find uh, one of these teleporters first. E okay, there we go. Well, should we have a quick look at this base? I don't think there's a lot going on here. We got a lot of seeds, we got a lot of things, we got a lot of like uh, spreader kits. Spreader kits? What do you think it's spreader kits for? Oh, tree spreader Trees. kids. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. Okay, well, that's cool. Um, So, what? We're going to do bioengineering. So, okay, we got a lot of things. We're going to the Stargate biome first. Because I said... I think that's what he said. So, let's see. So, we're here at the Stargate biome. And... Ooh. Some weird pods going on here. Um, yeah, you know what? I thought of doing something similar to this, like building biodomes on top of biodomes. The only problem with what I have with this is the ladder thing. Like, you have to climb the ladder forever. Ugh. And then you get to the top. Kind of a little bit of an inconvenience. But it looks cool. Okay, so this is the Stargate. I see a whole bunch of, like, beacons over here. I'm not sure what they all mean. And actually, I think I know what this is. But you guys can tell me what you think this is. Christmas tree? Yep, I think it is a Christmas tree. I actually wanted to come, yeah, during nighttime. Because I think it will look actually really cool. But yeah, to get us into the festive season. So I think each one of these pods are like some other different kind of decoration. So we got the blues. Whatever the blues are. And yellows, but these things are not really working. I like the fact that he put beacons there because the beacons definitely give us some kind of... Some kind of illumination. Okay, so whenever it becomes nighttime, I think we're going to have to quickly hop, skip and jump to this area. Okay, a facility for the research into the effect of colored light on various crystals, I guess. Um, cool. So, okay. This is really cool. I, uh, maybe we should take a walk all the way up to this, the top of the structure over here. But I see a lot of, like, inspiration being drawn from obvious people. 
Yes. Yes. Obviously. If it gets nighttime during the stream, we should come back and have a look at the tree, I think. Yeah, I definitely I want to come back during the nighttime. Okay, there's still a lot to explore in the meantime. Let's try and see if we can get to the top of the Christmas tree. Hopefully there's a star at the cr at the top. Or maybe a present. Yes. No, present should be underneath present the tree. Present would be cool. <laughs> yeah. Wow, okay. Quite the facility. It's starting to get a little bit more laggy the like the further up I go. I'm not sure why. You would think it would get less. Okay, we are pretty much at the top of the Christmas tree. Can I get up there? Get up. Uh, get on up. Come on. Can't get up there. Okay, well... I guess that is the top. I just actually want to see what's at the top. F4. Yeah, that's exactly... Oh, okay. Uh, this is at the top. Not much. <laughs> Couple of lights. Well, why... <laughs> White for the star. Oh, I guess, yeah. Well, it's a, yeah, I think it's like a kind of like a yellowish color. Slightly, yes. yeah. Slightly yellow. But cool. Yeah. Okay. Um, this is nice. I like the fact that we got a little thing for the festive season. Nice. Yeah, that's actually pretty cool, though. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I like really that. Neat. I've not saw. Well, I've not seen anybody do that before. Okay, let's have a look at some of these numbers. Okay, no, these are not real numbers. Okay, um, I guess... Yeah, not much else going on here. I guess we need to get to the... Oh, where is the... I don't know where the, the teleporter is. Yeah, sorry, I couldn't get that word for a second. Alright, that's what we're here for. Yeah, there we go. Thank <laughs> you very the, much. that one. Yeah, I think so. Good job. Okay, so... Where did we have to go? <clears throat> the obsolete canyon. No, let's waterfall. not Waterfall? Yes. Good job. Waterfall. Where is that waterfall? Waterfall. Uh, waterfall. Apiary. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we at the waterfall and I guess we got some honey and some bees. They should go together. Wow. Yeah. Look at that. Oh my god, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. Yeah, no. Wow, this is really nice, eh? Wow. I like the the combination of trees and flowers that he's used in this biome. Yeah. Oh yeah. That was kind of sort of my plans for some of the grassy areas in my on my planet to mix flowers and trees together. Dude, it makes me kind of jealous. I want to build in this biome again. I'm not think. I don't think I've <laughs> built anything in this biome. Build a build a resort or something like a yes. beach resort. Yes, yes, that's a great idea. A beach resort. You could put like Maybe chairs and tables, girl. like on the beach. Yeah, that'd be nice. Maybe I can put like some of those like weird mushroom trees and try to pretend that like, they're like umbrellas or something. Uh, umbrellas, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, You'd have to use a tier one tree spreader for that so they don't go too far. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I like this. Okay, so he says like uh, the mushroom cave, not much going on there. Uh, let's just go and have a quick look here. That's mushrooms. Yeah, you say he's using it mainly for future uh, larva. Yeah. For the pinky yeah. poos. Yeah. <laughs> the pinky poos. <laughs> the pinky, pinky poos. poos. Yeah, the pinky poos. Poos. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Bit of an inside joke. <laughs> Slip of yeah. the tongue there. Sorry. Slip of the tongue on the pinky poos. Okay. Um. Let's see. Uh. Where can we go from here? Um. Okay, yeah. A quick. Feel like cafe. A, made a labyrinth. A quick thing about the difference between a labyrinth and a maze. I actually found the difference out. Who knows yeah. what the difference is? 
Um, <laughs> a maze. A maze is more confusing. Yeah, yeah, you got uh, it. A, a, a labyrinth is a place that has one entrance and one exit, and you you basically oh. have to follow it the whole way around to get to the center, and then you go all the way back to get to the to get out again. Where a maze is okay. something to actually confuse you. There's many ways to go, and you need to choose the yeah. right way to get to the center. Yeah, interesting. Some English for you there. Ooh, it's nighttime. Okay, okay. Let's... <gasps> to the tree. Yeah, to the tree. <laughs> oh, we can see it from here. Look. <laughs> okay, uh, where are we going? Stargate. Okay, okay, okay. Let's do this. Let's see what the tree looks like. Can't wait. Mmm. Mmm. I don't know. What do you think? like it the lights the lights make it look nice yeah well from the side anyway the beacons at least yeah they're still really cool maybe if you get a little closer the others will render in yeah i guess you can't really see the light no. too well except for like here oh wait i think i need this i think if they were like yeah at the back of the tree facing inwards that'd be more less up but I think they're like on the side at the moment. Or you know what? If you do that little trick that Luthius did where he like built a compartment and then deleted it so that it's like open, that you oh, actually see yeah. all the stuff inside, that would be pretty cool. That's a very cool t like technique that I've never thought of. Editing the JSON file and just like deleting the pod next to the next to the well next to the other pod. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Can not get my words there for a second? And uh, yeah. Anyway, so yeah, I like the tree. Good idea. Yeah, that's really cool. Merry Christmas, everyone. Well, not yet, but almost. We're like two weeks away and from a Christmas. Happy New Year. That'd be a pretty cool addition to the game, though, if they actually made it where you could do the doorways like that, open doors. I think they will eventually. No, at least we got a nice little workaround for now. That can take us around. Okay, so we were at the labyrinth, but that was nothing. Let's see, what's the Zeolite Cafe? Nice. We didn't see the labyrinth, did we? We were about to go there, but then we came oh. here because it was night time. Oh, yeah. But here, let's go grab a coffee first. Here at the Labyrinth Cafe. Labyrinth oh, nice. Cafe and Lounge. So we can come and chill and... Okay, it's quite open. <laughs> Minimalistic for sure. Uh, lots of open space. Ooh, look at this. It's like many things on... I don't know, it's like uh, these things I guess you can drink. These are like shots. Shots Art. of algae. Nice. Mmm. <laughs> and you got Delicious. some snacks too, I guess. Shots and snacks. Everyone can sit down. Is that the regular food or is that the... They kind of look food? like those um, test tube shots that you can get. Yeah. Zambuca. Yummy. Yeah. I'm bottom right. Like super food. Yeah. Mmm. <laughs> I like it. He gave some effort to this. Algae uh, on the rocks. Yummy. <laughs> is there... A, uh, there's no ladder going up, is there? You just passed it. Yeah, just passed it. No, no. This is the ladder going Behind down. You. Oh, there, oh, no, the ladder. oh, there, 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 there. Sorry, guys. Yeah. Sorry. Got it, got it, got <laughs> it. Okay, I guess I need to eat something. Okay, let's this go is... and... Uh, yeah, yeah, this is like the top chill section. VIP lounge. Yeah, the VIP lounge. And the smoking area. Okay, this is kind of cool. Ooh. Wow, I like this, like, zeolite being used as a light. Yeah, that's really cool. It's like a chandelier. Yeah, I, I bet you that was his plan, though. Yeah, that's yeah. very cool. That. The zeolite chandelier. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Very cool. I love that. I love that. That's really cool. <clears throat> Okay, so I like the whole like idea that he's got going on here. Sounds good. So okay, we, we were trying to see what the labyrinth got. Sorry, I like got distracted there for a second. The labyrinth looks like it's got a whole bunch of nothing going on. 
Um, oh, it's the actual labyrinth. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's why I thought maybe we'd do a skip on this one. Ooh, you know what? Yeah. Let's just go scoot around here because I think maybe no, it's not this one. I thought somebody might have done the same kind of like heater factory, but I think that was Vanilla Gorilla actually. So yeah, my mistake. Actually, I need to put on a couple of extra mods for these like live stream series because I want to get like the Superman mod where I can just like fly super quickly. Yeah. Uh, not have to go like so slowly because I see a couple of facilities out in the in the distance over there. But here inside of the Iridium Cave, we've got a whole bunch of these cool mushrooms, aka umbrellas <laughs> for future reference. And uh, what's this? Okay, so I guess... What is this? This is for pleasure monitoring. No, pressure monitoring. Pressure. <laughs> pleasure. Pleasure monitoring. <laughs> no, Another kidding. slip of the tongue? Yep. <laughs> okay, pleasure monitoring. <laughs> okay, let's go and see <laughs> outside. We got some drills. Where they should be, I guess. Yeah. This is where drills are supposed to be. I'm not sure, but okay. Out of sight, out of mind. Well, yep. it kind of makes sense for them to be in here, even though it's like this yellow sulfur feel, because... Makes drills, it look dusty. Yeah, drills would be drilling into the ground, therefore making dust. Okay, I think yeah. I might know what's going on in the end over here. I can't see much. I can just see white. So you guys can guess what's going to be here. Eaters. Yep, heater tier fives. Wow, it's so a misty. My goodness. A bunch of heaters. I can't see them though. And I think Are they they're underground? Must be underground. I think they're underground, yeah. That's cool. I love the effect that it makes coming from Yeah, the that's true. My goodness. Oh man, it makes it like a fog. Yeah. It's like a lost oasis in there. Wow. I must say this is the first time I've ever seen this kind of effect. Now I kind of like, get... uh, well, I suppose you can just go underground. I'm not sure if there's an access port, but oh, I know an access port. I know how to get there. In the cave. Yeah, in the cave. Let's see, can we get the cave? Where is the cave? The cave is here? No, the cave is here. Uh, is this the cave? Yeah, wow, well, no. Is this the cave? I think so. Can't see. There's just too many, like, too much vegetation Trees. going on. <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. The, I think the cave is just to the side. Let me carry on here. Here we go. We got the cave. Okay, let's see. Can we get up here? Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh, wow. Look at the size <laughs> of this thing. That is so well done. Okay, this is huge. My word. Yeah, oh. this this is crazy. Holy. Holy heaters. Yep. I suppose it's... Not as many as yours, but... <laughs> but this is a perfect platform to build on. It's all flat down here. Yeah. You, you just need to, mm -hmm. like... Get yourself an access point to like get down here. Now, ah, the... he's got his power down there too. Yeah. Okay, I actually want to get into this place now. Let's see, is there a way to get in here? Here it is. There was a building. Yeah. We've got a, we've got an entrance way. Let's go and see what's up. Wow. Really nice. Okay, so this is all power, massive power. Mm -hmm. Let's go see at the end here. That's really well made, though. Control room. Okay, we got some... Controle. Controle room. Controle room. Okay, so we got a... We got a modest 98 nuclear fusion generators. 102 of the nuclear reactor tier 2s. I'm not sure why. And one lonely... Nuclear reactor tier one. And three solar panels. Yes. 
Those three solar panels are super critical, though. You need those. You know, yep, without absolutely. those, the whole system just without crashes. Those. Yep. <laughs> okay, well, let's see. Maybe we can, like, hop, skip, and jump to the top. Ooh, look at this. It's really well made. It's a pity that it's, like, underground. Like, you, if you were just, like, walking around, you wouldn't even notice this. Wow. And then, whoa. Huge. We appreciate the railing. Safety first. Yep. Safety third. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, let's see. This is a big-ass building. Um, just chilling over here. This is going to be, I guess, observation. Lots of room for expansion, I guess. Expansion still. Expansion's with the S, isn't it? Yes. Yes. Well, that's okay. We can read it. Um, yeah, lots of room for expansion. I guess there's lots that you can do in here. And at the top here, we've got a uh, we got a sauna. Wow. Okay. Oh, nice. Let's go and uh, grab ourselves a towel, I guess. And uh, <laughs> start sweating our ass <laughs> I like off. that. Yeah. <laughs> Ugh. Definitely getting my heat in for today. Nice. There's an idea for your resort. Create a yes. sauna. Yes. Create a sauna. Nice. I like the sauna. That actually gives me an idea now. Put a put a little heater underground. Have like you know how saunas are actually made of Steamy. rocks. Yes. But like a few. But like a few. Um, the closest Iron. thing that would look like to a stone would be titanium. Oh, titanium, Cause, maybe, yeah. Because yeah. iron... Hot rocks, yeah. Yeah, because iron... Um, how do I put it? Iron shines, so, but, yeah. but titanium doesn't. Yeah, titanium doesn't sparkle, so that's why it would look closer. Put you some titanium in there, make sure the heater's underground or under it wow. in some shape or fashion, and then steam would be coming up through the through the area. Wow, look at this. Yeah, that'd be cool. It looks so cool in here. It's like mystical. Yeah. Well, to top that idea off, you can make it look like there's embers creating steam and just throw a few iridiums in yeah, with the titanium. Yeah, I was titanium. thinking that too. Yeah. Question, like guys. You, you had a bonfire here. What do you guys think? Okay, yeah. It's a nice effect. That's cool, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of weird and ominous. It's weird because you can't see out. You just see white. I really like this. Dude, it's great. I like the way that you've built this whole facility. It's not just like a big square block. There's like levels to it. There's obviously, wow, this is the top level here is going to be expanded out, I guess. So what I don't understand is why are there so many water collectors on that floor we just passed? I think he just put just it there for effect. Goes. Yeah. Okay. Don't worry. There's a DIY teleporter on the bottom level. I really love the effect of the heaters on the jungle above. Yes. I found yes, this place definitely. to build, start from the bottom, and the idea grew organically. Nice. Good job. As best ideas do. Yes. Absolutely. I'm sure First Blood would definitely agree with that let things just go organically and i guess this is going to take us to the top there we go okay so ah, the blue very beacon. good it's very cool i love yeah. this i'm so happy that we came here it's like a steamy amazon rainforest yes exactly yeah. you can imagine like the humidity here must be crazy even though it's yeah. like a dry desert Definitely turned it into like a lush oasis. Let's quickly check something. Did he get the golden crate here? Must have. No, he didn't. Ha 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 Found one. I love finding golden crates. <laughs> <laughs> you missed one. <laughs> Okay, well, I'm pretty happy about this. I'm super happy that we got to this spot. Now, where do we go from here? That's the next question. Well, you said just explore at your leisure. So yeah. just 
fly around and see if he finds something interesting. Yeah, I'm just gonna see if there's anything on top of the cliff. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Since the arches by him. I've only seen a couple of people building things on the arches by him. Not many people have done this section over here. Um but wow. Really nice effect going on here. Look at that. I should have done this as the thumbnail. Yeah. <laughs> Looks so cool. Wow. Okay, very impressed. Another golden crate. Oh, this one's empty. I see a lot of people don't construct, uh, deconstruct their golden crates. I don't suppose you I need they to. Hope with updates, they'll um, refill. Okay, so we got two facilities going on here. I think uh, this was like the original main base, wasn't it? No. Let's go and have a look inside. Yes, this was the original main base. This is where we started. Oh, yeah, nice. Okay, so we, we are good. I want to go and see how many of these rockets do we have. Oh, okay. Not the Why? most, but yeah, okay, 11 of each. Definitely gets the job done. Okay, we already met, read all those messages. So this is the launch facility. He said this was a failure, apparently. Why is this a failure? Don't get the failure part. I think it looks kind of cool. Seems to work okay. So this is your, obviously your launch platform from here. And oh, I see you can't get out. Okay, so this is why he deems it to be a failure. I don't think it's a failure. I think it looks kind of cool. Just needs a little bit of work, but I think overall kind of cool. It's getting there. Now, I wish there was a teleporter somewhere close to us. I guess we can go back that way, but let's go and see what's down here. It looks like a whole algae section. Chris Van Dyke, he doesn't like the overall look. We love the overall look, dude. You're being too critical. Okay, so we got a whole bunch of, I guess this is like an automation facility. Must be. And uh, we are automating food, I guess. Now we're getting uh, these fertilizer, fertilizer packets. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And this is... This is a cool little spot to build. Yeah. I, ne I never thought of actually building in this spot. I like it. It's all original. Like, I don't see yeah. a lot of, like, copying from anybody, like, in this. I think, like, it's all pretty much, like, unique. And I like it. It's very cool. Let's see, how are we doing? Okay, we're doing fine on water and food. Oh, you'll be getting all of our mutagen tier twos and tier ones that's great now i was hoping that there was a no i guess there's not a teleporter here I'm sure there would be in the future cool okay there's a, there must be a ton more places that we can go and visit because you never know what's been built underground you can't just take like the top ground or the top level as being it Get the swamp by him already? Uh, no, we didn't, but I, I did have a quick glance of that, and it didn't look like there was anything going on there. But let's go and have a look. Maybe we can find something. You never know. If you see some weird, like, uh, white mist coming out from the ground, then you at least know that there's <laughs> something below. Ah, so relaxing. I see, you know what, um, I normally don't have the compass as like part of my thing because without the compass, at least I get like a nice like photo view, but with the compass, yeah. it's, it's on your photo view all the time. So I normally like take that off, just a little thing. Okay, Swamp Biome looks really pretty. 
not much infrastructure but looks cool I think yeah. maybe he said he put a platform inside the warden's gate or something like that. But it's just for collecting larva, I think. Yeah, probably. And I'm sure we probably find a teleporter there too. Yeah, Mr. Chris Van Dyke says a teleporter is in the starting place. Yes, absolutely. I know that. But uh, I think we're going to scoochie on and see what we can find in the... I don't know what you call this biome. What do you, what do you call this, uh, the... The temple lost biome. Oasis. The Lost Oasis. There we go. The Lost Oasis. I don't know. Everyone calls it something different. I wish, yeah. I wish the developers would actually come up with like, like name their like biome so everyone's like on the same page. The Ancient Paradise. The Ancient Paradise. Oh. There we go. L lost Civilization. Yeah. I can see some infrastructure coming up here. Oh yeah, according to the achievement, it's the Ancient Paradise. Okay, the Ancient Paradise. Okay, well there then I guess that is the official name for it. And we've got a teleporter. Good. So this is only for getting larvas. Right. Yeah, this is like a very suitable spot to just grab a ton of larvas. I love how you put like it's railings so around this like obelisk. It's really cool. I like it. And larvas are already spawning. <laughs> yeah, we just need the good ones. Come on, good ones. Normally, I've got do the, the go Do the gold the... ones spawn? Yeah, the gold ones do spawn here sometimes. And you got the shredder machine, so you could throw away the one, the useless ones. Yeah, I find that's to be the most effective. Eee, I found one. If it gets stuck in this biome, I didn't know that. Yeah, I don't think it does. It, it would be a great place to build a base, but unfortunately, you know, you just can't build anything here. Yeah. Except for a couple of foundation pieces. I wish we could put at least the, like, butterfly um, farms down. That would be nice. Yeah. And that you could fly in this facility, but I don't know why you can't fly around here. But okay. Because it would make navigating the maze too too easy. Yeah. Right? Mm, yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. Because like when when they when they had it under development, you could fly around, and yeah, it was too easy. <laughs> I think that's why they did away with it. So should we go and see what is resource and manufact? Yeah. <laughs> Manufacturing it didn't fit, I would assume. Yeah. <laughs> the fact of manufact okay um very cool uh i guess i need to eat and drink nice i like this facility it's all nicely planned out you've got a couple of like uh, flowers in the corner made it look nice and all looks cool and wow okay so i see i see a little bit of a pattern going on here especially in this biome this looks a little bit like my manufacturing facility. A little bit. Come on, Chris is going to tell us. Uh, I think, okay, I like the fact that, okay, you've named everything. You don't have to, like, second guess anything. Everything's like, okay, this is super alloy. This is super alloy. This is osmium, cobalt. Got it. So I guess these are all like the the little mundane kind of like uh, these uh, mundane hey, resources. resources that you need. Yeah. Okay. Then we got explosive powder being made here. Modest facility doing its thing. I remember when I first saw explosive powder, like as an update to the game, and I thought oh, there's going to be explosives in the game. Dynamite, no. yes. yeah. Yeah, that's my first <laughs> thing. I was like, there's going to be explosives. Dynamite, we yeah. can finally uh, like blow destroy stuff the up. rocks. Yeah, but then <laughs> obviously the not. Mold the land in our, into what we wanted Yeah, it didn't happen, unfortunately. Anyway, so, okay, we got osmium rods here. We got all of our rods being made. I like the facility. Does look a little bit similar to the facility that I made, but, dude... 
it's a pretty, yeah he said it was inspired by you it's a pretty functional facility yeah dude do it super happy rockets iridium rods and uranium rods wow nice facility all nice and clean here in the desert in the dusty desert and i also put that thing there i also put this little satellite thing at the top there nice and the control a room so let's go and see um i guess you've unlocked all the messages uh extra iron extractors in the back uh yes okay okay i get it um but you know for sh for sure i like this it's a big facility but it does what it has to do you know it's functional and it, like gets you all the materials that you need i guess so okay we got uh we've already done the lost paradise i guess uh, uh aluminium might be a facility i guess not maybe that's just like a place let's see let's go to aluminium see what's there yeah this is this is still like the old days you know back in the yeah. day days when people used to like ride horses and things you know this when we still had these like <laughs> drill tier twos back in the wild west yeah exactly we still needed these facilities in certain areas to get those materials look i still like that idea that you need to go to that certain area to get that certain mineral like um i don't know how a drill tier three can just like automatically or, or extract a tier three could just like magically pull materials from nothing you know like in the middle of nowhere i want diamonds give me diamonds <laughs> it's like okay it's deep core mining that's what it does it oh, goes way yeah. down below the surface down oh, to the mantle okay yeah yeah i guess where all those precious minerals are much more abundant yes it just presumably. goes down in a straight line for kilometers yeah. underground right. yeah stargate observation is the place to check out early yeah we already checked that out dude I like the whole festive Christmas tree vibe. Very cool. That was awesome. Yes, very, very cool. We got Stargate. Oh, we got the Stargate observation, which we didn't check. Oh, this is the observation deck for the Christmas tree. All right, let's just eat something quickly. Nice. We really dig that. I like the idea. Nobody yes. else has done a Christmas tree yet. So that's really cool. You're the first person to think of a Christmas tree. And it's a pretty big Christmas tree. It's the biggest Christmas tree I've ever seen. Yeah. It's really cool. So, I wonder, is there... I see a dome kind of in the middle of nowhere there. Can you see that? In the distance there? Anybody can see that? Yeah. Okay, I think uh, this must be the... The yeah. obsolete canyon. The obsolete canyon, I guess it is. And uh, I think this is it, isn't it? Oh, there's a lot of things going on in the obsolete canyon. Oh, uh, okay, we got this. Why are children so expensive? <laughs> Jeez, okay. So glad I'm what? an adult. <laughs> You're selling adults and... No, yeah. come on now. Yeah, it's like, if you bring That's your kid, wrong. you'd be like... This is my brother. <laughs> like, I know he looks small. It's just like he got stunted at growth. <laughs> but he's actually 35. <laughs> like, really? <laughs> yeah, speak deeply. <laughs> uh, uh, energy production. <laughs> okay, well, this is cool. Oh, it's like a little museum. Okay, yeah. that's cute. It's a little museum, yeah. So this is where all these, these things come oh, from. It's a museum I get it now. Because this the stuff is obsolete. You don't use yeah. it anymore. Okay, yes. Yeah. Got it. I get it. <laughs> okay, let's see what else we got over here. I was thinking something totally different. The bio lab is pretty much obsolete, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, it is. <laughs> and, uh... Well, it is, but it isn't. The butterfly bio... For bio purposes, you can use it, but... It's obsolete? Well, unless you want... Yeah. Wow, it's super yellow it inside here. Aesthetic purposes. <laughs> It's like being inside That's the sun. Yellow. Okay, um, let's see. Okay, we got one heater going on here. Outdoor, not yeah, the indoor one. Indoors. Yeah, the tier four is out. Oh, uh, this is the indoor inside. ones. Indoor heaters. 
Okay. <laughs> this is I like cool. This is cool. I like this. this. So yeah. Neat. yeah. <laughs> That's cool. Walk down memory lane. <laughs> what do we got going on here? My goodness. Drills, I must be. Yep, there are all the drills. Drill nice. tier one. Tier two. So small. <laughs> tier three. Tier four is such a behemoth. And then you get tier five. Well, not tier five. Yeah, tier five yeah. is absolutely humongous. No, but this is... <laughs> Don't touch it, it's hot. <laughs> <laughs> it's hoot. <laughs> it's hoot. <laughs> it's hoot. Super hoot. But uh, yeah, I remember these things. And I can't believe the tier five... Heat, uh, the tier five drill is so much bigger. I just can't believe that. Anyway, it's like you need to put the obsolete veggie tubes in as well. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's uh, continue our tour here of the obsolete canyon. Yep, we got the veggie tubes. Oh, look, like, there's a grass spreader there too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, veggie tube tier one and tier two. Obsolete. Hey, these these lermas are valuable, but okay. <laughs> Um, I guess the grass spreader. Okay, let's see. Oh, yeah, here they are. Flower spreader tier one. We got the grass spreader. And yeah, this is cool, dude. I like this. Yeah, definitely <laughs> there's some like unique things that I've not seen before. Oh, there's your tree spreaders too. Oh, yes, of course. But this is a cool little chill area where you can, I don't know, get some refreshments. Get some snakes. Get some snakes. <laughs> snakes in the grass. No, um, so we got the tree spreader tier one. Little miniature thing. Good for umbrellas. Yes, actually, I think I'm going to be doing that. <laughs> and uh, we got our tree spreader tier two. But you know what? Yeah. I did notice something on top of one of these, like, platforms or these uh, plateaus. There must be, like, a... There must be something up there. I'm gonna double check. Let's go up here. Uh, yeah. Oh, wait. Here it is. Biodome up. I okay. wish I could find the Lerma glitch, because I want to send up a ton of those uh, uh, plant yes. rockets. Yeah, you could just get the um, the mod for that, I guess. Object spawn. Spawn in as many as you want. The biodome may be obsolete, but I love it so much. <laughs> Let's see if I can just like do this. There we go. Okay, so we got a lonely little pod over here. And it's just a random building on top of a canyon. Very nice. <laughs> and <laughs> lol. <laughs> exactly, first blood. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> lol. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Nice. I like this I like this biome. Very cool. Okay, um now I just have to try and find what is this again? Uh, this is the food growers. Tier 1 and Tier 2. I forgot about that. I guess. How are those obsolete? The outside growers? I guess it's just like a, yeah. a thing for every single thing that we can think of. And the bees. Yeah, we got the birds and the bees. <laughs> and <laughs> the cigarette trees. And the atmospheric... Okay, I guess that's about it. Crafting station. Okay, we've got a whole bunch of crafting stations here. I'm trying to find the teleporter. There isn't mine because it's not obsolete. <laughs> yeah, I guess. So, but didn't we come in with a teleporter? We did. Yeah, we did. <laughs> now, where is it though? Uh, sure. All the way at the other end, I think. Yeah. On the other the end, tree. I think? 
Okay, um, <laughs> let's see. Oh, wait, we missed something. Well, you got the Stargate coming up, though. We so missed something. Yeah. We missed a uh, algae generator tier one. Okay, that's the last oh, thing yeah. that we're supposed to see. Okay, we did it. We've seen everything in the obsolete canyon. That is so well done. Yeah, it's very, very yeah. cool. Turning this into like its own little museum piece. And we forgot these or extractor tier one, yes, tier yes, two. Yes, yes, we have been there. Okay, this is where the, this is it. Reception and teleporter. Okay, we're in. Nice. Welcome to the obsolete Canyon Museum. We forgot this sign. We didn't see that in the beginning. <laughs> but very cool. I love it. Okay, then I guess that's that's all the points of interest, isn't it? I think so. Have you been to the single blue beacon yet? No. Yeah, that led to the headers. Oh, yes. We went underneath the ground. Yes, and we saw that whole like massive thing that um, was so cool i don't think there's a teleporter going there no no there isn't a teleporter going there but uh, anyway cool i love the base actually there's a lot more than i thought that was going on in this in this base very cool and you know what i, I think uh, we can all like get some ideas some new ideas absolutely I love like getting new ideas it makes everything like a little bit like better when you like you can envision what you're going to be doing. Okay. Observation lounge. Oh, this is where we were before. Okay, this is cool. Okay, cool. Guys, I think that's great. We're going to be hop skipping and jumping onto the other one. Uh, let's go to exit to main menu. And the next one we're going to be checking out is Vanilla Gorilla. And that's, uh, he's on 271 TTI. That's a lot. So let's go and see. Oh, there was ingredients for the teleporter at the bottom of the facility. Oh, so we should have made one. <laughs> yeah, I can <laughs> get there. But uh, yeah, so and the anti-Jesus. Yeah, I love the obsolete canyon. Yeah, me too. Anti Jesus. Okay. Do we yep. Do we start with them? Um, no, but I love that name, the Anti Jesus. Anyway, um, yeah. <laughs> here we go. We at least have some water and some high quality food. We have some oxygen. Nice. Wow, look at it in there, like through the window. That's nice. Yeah, it looks very lush. Okay, I think I'm gonna grab some more water while I'm here. You never know. I might just need a ton of water. This is cool. This is like your whole display case thing going on here. I get one of each. Very good. Very good. I'll grab some more food while I'm here. Nice. I still need to do that. <laughs> the control room. This is very cool and intricate, like the way he's put this control room. Yeah. It's very nice. Okay, let's see. We've got... Um, Oh, okay. We we got a lot of satellites going on. Wow. Yeah, lots of them. We got the spider web finally. Let's go check on here. Okay. Well, I see some things coming up. I see lots of things. Okay. So definitely, if you look at the canyon, the canyon biome is obviously filled drills. with drills. Yes, and. I see a heater station like I built in that exact same spot. Cool. So I see somebody's got some inspiration from me. Thank you very much. Make me feel special. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's see. We got a hundred of these nuclear fusion generators. Just we got, I don't have much available power, but very good. 100 drill tier fives, 100 tier five dr uh, heaters, 117 ore extractor tier threes. Good job, dude absolutely amazing now what are we going are we gonna go and check on the, let's maybe if i can get out of this facility um okay we got butterfly dome this way we got tree dome this i like way. the glass floors yes absolutely glass floors 
Very important. Okay, we gotta exit. We can get out of here. Exit back right. Whoa. Is it super dark? Wow. Oh, it's super dark outside. Yeah. That's why. Like what an that. entrance. But the cool thing about building inside of the um, this iridium cave is as soon as you get inside, ah, the light just like turns back on again. Wow, everything is so intricate. I, I really like it. This reminds me a little bit of your base, uh, Huntress. Like you built like these little intricate spots. You put the little yeah. things everywhere. It looks really cool. It's like less of a grand scale and more like trying to like be small and compact. Yeah, although I have since expanded my base. Yeah, I'm sure. Can't wait to get into that. We're going to see your updated yes. base soon. Okay, we got a whole bunch of manufacturing going on here. We got, ooh, we got a lot of uh, space food happening. So yummy yum. Once again, we've got this. Uh, don't like the compass being in here. Just take the compass out, and uh, we got. Okay, so we got all the stuffs being made. We got lots of like, lots of ore extracting happening. I'm not sure w what everything is for, and th I'm sure there is a purpose for everything. But wow, it's a very busy cave. This is far more yeah. busy than I've ever had my cave, because I've had a base in here before, and it was never this busy. Wow, look at it. It's just like it's leveled down. Levels on upon levels. So well done. Yes, everything is. He's literally got everything he needs right there. This is nice. Yeah. I didn't know that algae grows on top of these platforms. I didn't know that either. I thought it stopped the algae growth. Yeah, me too. It will grow above the platform if you let the algae grow, like the the things grow first, and then place the wow. platforms. Wow, I didn't know uh, you could put your launch platform like to the same level as the water. So cool. Some lore behind that could be is to help keep fires down when the yeah. rockets launch. That's true. Okay, so this is, I guess, launching rockets as well as you can just like hop, skip and jump onto the top over here and that's it. And then we've got a ton of farms going on. I must say the farms look really cool. They're like all yeah. uniform in a straight line. Obviously making everything that you can possibly make. Everything is super symmetrical except for the farms. Love it. Should have been on that line. But uh, yeah. yeah. Wow, look at all this. So much. Oh, I love all the colors. The colors are super cool. Digging this base. Okay, so let's see if we can find ourselves a teleporter. And uh, see where else we can go. But this base already is... I don't know, it's making that my creative juices awesome. tickle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's tickling my creative juices. Okay, well, we've got a lot of places to go. We've got a ring retreat. We got a Ooh. super mine. We got a mountain tower. Mountain tower. We got Ooh. a sulfur. Those we got are the names too. In the stars. I guess I know where that is. Ah, that'll be the moon biome. Yes, yeah. that's exactly it. Uh, awesome what does it, Orano say? What? Uh, so this base is in a maze or in a labyrinth? Uh, it's in the iridium cave. Yeah, it's in the iridium cave. Yes, yes. Uh, okay, well, let's see. Well, we got the blue moon. Secret society. The secret society. It's like the Illuminati. They are there too. The Teen Titan Tower. I could not have so nice. many places to go. I think we should just start at the top. We go to the ring retreat. See what's yeah. up there. Okay. TTT. Very nice already. I don't know where we are. 
be the ring. <laughs> but yeah, I, I'm already liking the base. Whoa, how did they get the butterflies? Is there a butterfly farm right there? Yeah, It'll I probably think... be slightly underneath. Yeah, if you put it like nearby, then like there it is. Then it actually yeah. like the butterflies spawn inside. That's actually pretty cool. That is kind of cool. We got some automation happening here. Oof, lots of things going on. Uh, let's go upstairs quickly. It's upstairs. That actually gives me an idea for my apiary now. <laughs> yeah, it's, there's lots of ideas going around, dude. Grab them. Grab as many as you can. And run. Um, okay, I guess we're going to go outside. Let's just jump outside. Boom. Okay, we've got a massive facility only for tier 2 nuclear fusion generators. No, not fusion generators. Just the nuclear... Reactors. Yeah, reactors. That's it. Sorry. Ugh, my words. Just can't think of them. They're in my mind, but just don't come out my mouth. Anyway, so I guess uh, he was still busy with this. I guess he was still getting getting there. But he's pretty much got everything going. Like, I, I guess you don't need these if you got all the fusion generators. Um, then we are making... What do you guys guess is being made over here? Uh, what do you think? Oh, I already, I already spoiled mm, it. Bioplastic? Nope. Oh, no. Nice. Pulsar. Yeah, pulsar cords. The pulsar cords. Okay, so this is a facility. Very nice. Very well thought of. Pretty big. It has a lot of things going on. A lot of detail. I must, I must say, I'm surprised by the amount of things that he has. That my frame rate is as good as it is. I thought I would have had a frame rate that would uh, really suck right now. But anyway, it seems to be going very well. So, okay, let's just go down the next the next one. Uh, I think the next one is the super mine. You want to go check out the super mine? Let's go, see what's, super let's go see what's in the super mine. Super mine is got one fusion generator. And I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Uh, I'm stuck. Oh no. <laughs> okay, there we go. Okay, let me try uh -oh. again. I'm stuck. <laughs> why can't I get, <laughs> why, why can't I get out this? This is Okay, there we go. Why did that happen? <laughs> <laughs> what was that all about? Crap. <laughs> why? Shouldn't be like that. Yeah, it is like that. I anyway. guess Going up, not going down. Yeah, okay. <laughs> um, yeah, this is cool. We've got like these little buildings that you've like fit in between the rocks. Very nicely. Wow. This is, wow, this is like an entrance. That's nice. Yeah, that's so cool. So creative. I love it. Just, yeah, all the creativity. Sometimes I wish I was like a little bit more creative like this. It's great, dude. I don't know. This... I love it, but uh, those are uneven. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, I suppose. You know what? Sometimes. All right, guys. I got to go, but okay. I'll hopefully catch the end of the stream. Cool. But you know what? Like, the thing is, I think that. You know, even oh, if no, you look at art, cool. like art is not even, but it's still kind of cool. Right. So, you know, it doesn't always have to be symmetrical. Okay, so this is the alien door. So we just have to jot that in my memory that it is the alien door. And the super mine, I absolutely love it. I think it's really cool. But I'm, I'm really like intrigued to see what's going to happen to the mountain tower. Mountain tower is... A tower, I guess. Mountain tower. So let's look up. <laughs> what do you see up there? 
a bunch of biodomes. <laughs> yeah, like butterfly, or, butterfly or biodomes. That's a I ton of butterfly domes. It's a massive tower. So I guess it's going to take a while to climb this. And I don't really want to climb everything. I wonder if there's yes, a F4. way to get to the top. I don't Just know. If they, no, but I was wondering if there was like a... No, nah, there's no teleporter that takes me to the top, unfortunately. E, okay, King yeah, I guess... Titan Tower? No. I guess uh, we're going to do tower. this. Number two. We are level two, level three, level four, level five, level six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. My goodness, twelve. Twelve. Thirteen. 13. Fourteen. How many? Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Come on. My goodness. Twenty. 20 like seriously. 20, 21, 22, level 22, we're there. It still goes up from there, but level 22 <laughs> seems to like, that's where we get to the top. Okay, so here we have all the butterfly domes. Very beautiful. You can take a nice scroll through all your butterflies. Looks like they like the red one a lot. Thank goodness that there's not real physics in this game because I don't know how you would be able to support these structures so high up on like a single little tower piece. Yeah, have... I kind of feel like they should add physics, honestly. Well, cause... all of our structures would just like melt. <laughs> My goodness, look how long that is. There's a lot of butterfly domes going on to the edge of there. Yeah, there's a lot, My goodness. Like 20 or 30 of them? <laughs> Oh, you see there, there is a teleporter at the top here, and it's called Empty Top. Okay, that's what it is, Mountain Top. Okay, let's quickly go and see how many butterfly domes that we got over here. That's a ton of butterflies. Was an Empty Top a band in the 80s? Dude, your guess is as good as mine. I've got absolutely no idea. Okay, so we are all the way at the edge over here. Let's go and jump down here. Maybe we can see something. Okay, so this is the swamp biome or the whatever biome. Looks very nice. Just trees going on there. Not much else going on in the background. Let's see. I do see that heater factory on the edge there. Yep, Christmas Dyke is like, yeah, definitely level 22. That's right. Are you thing of the Rocky Song song? Oh no, I don't know what. Rocky Top Song. Maybe the Eye of the Tiger. Anyway, let's see. Um, I want to go see your heater factory because I think I know that there was definitely some inspiration there. Look at that. Looks exactly like my heater factory. Well, similar. It looks very similar. Look at this. It's built in, it's pretty much built in the same spot, but uh, it's a little bit different. Yeah, it doesn't look like it has a split in the middle like yours does. No. Yeah, and uh, he's got his like uh, facility over here on the edge, where mine's on the yeah. opposite edge. But still cool. You know, we all got our own ideas, but uh, I'm glad that I can inspire oh, somebody. Yeah. But uh, let's go and see. So you hop down here and then... Okay, so this is called the heater farm. Of course, it's called the heater farm. So I wonder what these levels are gonna be used for. Maybe there's gonna be some fusion generators. I've got no idea. But I think he's obviously gonna be putting a lot more heaters in here. This platform is absolutely massive. This is as big as mine. I think it's possibly gonna be 200 of them, yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's massive. Yeah, it's a, I think it's about the same size as mine, to be honest with you. But mine's shifted off a little bit to the, the right-hand side. 
Yeah, it looks like theirs is like in the sand a little bit, whereas yours is just completely floating on four pegs. Yeah, but mm -hmm. very cool. I like the idea. Yeah. Well, I, I guess I came up with the idea. So, <laughs> I'm <laughs> gonna like it. <laughs> it's my idea. But no, good. You've made it your own idea, dude. So well done. I absolutely love it. Looks cool. Great job. So this is obviously the heater farm. I guess there's not much to see there. But uh, let's go and see what else have we seen yet. We've been to the mountain tower. We've been... We haven't been to the sulfur, have we? No, I guess not. No, we no. have not. Let's go and see what's in the sulfur. Okay, so we got here in the sulfur. And yeah, obviously this base is going to be really well designed. Well, not really. Okay, it's it's a pretty scarce little base. More of an outpost. Yeah, it's a little outpost. Still like intricate. Still got all the things, but we got these like tier two, like ore extractors. I guess they still like getting sulfur. This is like before the latest updates, I'm sure. That's when uh, this was all about. So I still, I get it. I do get it. There's a little outpost. You get your water, you get your things. Mm -hmm. So, okay, cool. The sulfur mines. Nice. We got beans, we got water. Yeah, I guess this is like before we got to the latest update. Okay, we got that. Now let's go and see what is in the stars. I wanna go and see what's in the stars. Must be something great in the stars. Whoa, everything is so like monochrome. You know, it's like, everything's like- Black, black and, and white. Yeah, completely black and white. It's like devoid of color. But look at it, it's like there's stars everywhere. Yeah. Wow. Uh, we're obviously in that meteor biome. Yeah, but I didn't know if you built up. Wait, they're up in the air. Yeah. That's why it's so dark. But I didn't know that there was like actual stars. Like I thought the stars were in much the higher. Stars. Yeah, in the stars. This is it makes really so cool. Much sense now. Oh, you can actually go out of this biome like as soon as you drop down, it becomes black. This is really cool. I didn't know that. I want to build a base now in the stars. Yeah. That's so cool. Looks like they had a bunch of signs in, uh, in that uh, biodome. Yeah, I need to get back inside. Unfortunately, I was a bit too, like... Uh, struck to find out Yeah, I wanted to go and see was. what's what's going on. But let's, uh, let's get back inside <laughs> here. Okay, so we're in back inside. Let's see if we can get through here. We got a couple of like automation for uh, for what's that fabric? Yeah, and fabric uh, let's go upstairs. Okay, so this upstairs biome is gonna be for like display cases and things. Okay. Wow, look at this. There was a, this is like oh, a nice that's bed. What it looks like. Yeah, it's quite that's a bit. Looked like sign. Yeah, but it's very cool. Yeah, I must say very that. Very symmetrical. <laughs> yeah, it's it's very symmetrical. So this is obviously this like great bedroom that you have. Yeah. In the stars, cool. why not sleep in the stars? Almost wow. like lava lamps in a way. You know, like imagine like falling asleep at night, you're just looking into stars. Like, oh, I'm sure you're gonna sleep yeah. like a baby. It's super cool. I love it. I love all the like different things that you guys got going on. Always good because I always have good ideas that I can steal. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, there's not a lot of signs going on. Um, yeah, we just have the regular things going on, but like no signs actually telling me where to go. But I guess, you know, some places don't have the lure you just kind of like make up your own story and then go with whatever okay so we got a couple of places to go we got uranium mines i guess your uranium mines is going to be not the most exciting place just going to be uranium mines i guess 
like Probably this. Probably like a small outpost, just like the. Yeah. Not a whole yeah, lot. yeah. Not much going on. Let's uh, go from uranium mines, and the next place I want to go is Mushroom Land. Yes, let's go and check out the Mushroom Land. But I must say, in the stars, wow, one of my favorites now because I, you know what, I hate that biome. And now it's like, I'm like thinking about that biome and I'm like, you know what, it might just become my favorite biome. The fact that you can build in the stars, that's a really cool idea. Um, okay, let's go and see. So this is obviously the mushroom biome and you got a little mushroom land and obviously bees. Bees and mushrooms. It's obviously another little outpost. I think a lot of people make these little outposts everywhere around the game so that you can at least like go around and grab things from different areas. And it makes it easier to like just scooch around. Oh, we've got another one. Bioplastic farm. Okay, so just jot that we've already been there. Okay, so we've been to mushroom land. Um, Oz, Ozmalite? What is Osmolite Mines? I guess it's Osmium? Must be Osmium. Okay, let's go check that out, Osmolite. So, let's see. Okay, we got, uh, this is nice. You can build the spaceship you talked about there. Yes, that's a great idea, dude. Well done, time to kill. Yeah, I think building a spaceship in that, like, space biome well in the stars makes so much sense you can pretend like you're doing the whole star track thing okay i don't get the whole osmolite supposed to be osmium isn't it or is it osmolite supposed to be the kind of butterfly that you're thinking about i've got absolutely no idea but uh i get it there is not much else going on in here I don't get the whole Osmolite thing, but anyway, let's go and see what else we can find. Okay, so this is just the sulfur. This is the sulfur fields. We've already been here before. And uh, yeah, I guess it's all nicely like decorated. I guess this is the base that we just came from before. Uh, sulfur mines. Yes, this is exactly where we came from before. And at least I know that there is a teleporter. Okay, cool. So, the next place that we're going to go check out is... Okay, I think I know what the vault will be. Oh, yes. Osmium and zeolite. Yes, good guess. But there was no osmium and no zeolite there. <laughs> so, maybe it's something that's coming in the future. I've got absolutely no idea. But anyway, let's go and see what's happening in the vault. So, I guess uh, this vault is a lot of inspiration being taken from First Blood's vault. Uh, that's the only other person that I know that's actually built something like the vault. But uh, let's go and see. Okay, we've got a little desk here with, I guess, okay, that's where we are. We are in the crater. And uh, yes, First Blood, you basically built your vault in the exact same spot. So well done. Okay, let's go and see if we can get out here. Mm, no, I don't see much of a vault going on. I'm not sure if the, if the vault is supposed to be underground, maybe? future plan maybe i've got absolutely no idea maybe the vault was supposed to be underground no 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 this is just the Wait, regular base go down yeah and we Are got you a whole bunch of build off of those uh yes i actually well i was able to build something ladder in front of the door okay i'll go check it out but I want to do quickly go and check what's happening over here. There's obviously a lot of like automation happening here. This is going to be for fertilizer or no, these are mutagens. Sorry, I stand corrected. And uh, yeah, these are making some sulfur pieces and all the other things that we need. Sample farm. Okay, so this is the sample farm. Not much happening on the inside over here. But uh, let's see. Okay, we got <laughs> oxygen. I'm not sure why you would need oxygen, but anyway. Um, actually, you know what? Let's just jump with the, the teleporter. So we were at the vault. So there is a... Yes, there it is. I see that there is a ladder going downstairs. So let's go and take this if we can grab it. Nope, can't grab it. 
can't grab it. I can't grab that no. thing. Oh, wait, there's another letter. Okay, let's see. Oh, okay. Okay, I see a lot of... I see a massive facility over there in the distance. You see that? I see a big facility over there. Oh, yeah. Uh, I do too, yeah. Okay, so this is... This is a massive, like, underground facility. You can see this. How big is this? Like, looks this? like... Yeah, it looks like they built it right next to the actual underground one, too. Yeah, exactly. That's what I was saying. You can build onto these things. Um, but, okay, let's go and see. I like somebody that's embraced the underground. Well done. Welcome to the yeah. dark side. Haha, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I've got a lot of hate on some of my videos for building underground. They're like, that's not the way you play the game. You mustn't do that. I'm like, yeah, whatever, dude. Doable, you can do it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you can get there, you can do it. I'm like, why not? Gives you if extra the space. If didn't intend it, it wouldn't be there like that. Exactly. I like building underground. Like, kind of gives it like a little bit of an extra mystique. Make your own rules, exactly right. Oh, oh, I get this platform now. Okay, you just jump out. Okay. Ah, very nice. Yes, so that's the way to go outside. I like it. So this is the vault. So this is the, the fridge. Uh, the fridge gives me all of these things. Let's go grab some, some goodies. Okay, so we got all of the stuff, the common larvas, the things, the bees. The pulsar cords, the microchips, microchips? Oh, wow, wow. I don't remember there being so many blueprint microchips in this game. But, uh, okay. That um, one's been to the edge of the map. Yeah. <laughs> There's some explodey powder. Yes. Explodey. <laughs> nice. Some horny, oh, some honey, sorry. <laughs> And, um, <laughs> yeah, there's, no, there's no horny. That yet. was intentional. Yes, that was of course. Inten that one was intentional. <laughs> Come on, I'm just giving it a little bit more of More explodey powder. Yeah, some more <laughs> explodey powder. Very cool. I like that you built it inside. Underground. Yes, you may. Give me a second. Okay, let me see. Let's, uh, let's go into... Okay, the next place that we can go check out is the blue, the blue moon. So I guess this place only comes Jump once. Jump in stream waiting. I'll drag you in. Once in a blue moon. So let's go and check it. We only get to check it once, hey guys. So, the blue moon. Okay, I know what this is. The blue biome. This is the blue wasteland. Yeah. Wow, this is a massive facility once again. Huge facility. Every facility of his is massive, but everything is so detailed. Who would have thought to use the biolab as like a hub? Me. <laughs> yes, yeah, that's true. But it's like, this is the place where like all like, all the doors come together in the biolab. Very interesting. Yeah. Yeah, the biolab works really great for that purpose. You can it does. use it for so many different things. My goodness, are we going inside here? Oh no. Oh, it just drops off a cliff there. Okay, so don't go out that way. Um, let's go and go back the way we came, I guess. There's another level going up. So I want to go upstairs if we can. Let's go grab a ladder. Wow. Okay, so there's lots going on. What? How is this? How is this land over here? Okay, there's, there's so much going on. So, I guess, um, Huntress and uh, uh, Luthius, you didn't see the the space biome, did you? No, we didn't, no. It, My I caught a glimpse of it. You goodness. were looking around and, like, all the little will-o'-wisp stuff were up there. You know, it was my worst biome. And then after seeing this, I was like, maybe it's my favorite biome. Uh, Can you revisit it, Yeah, please? I'm going to check. Uh, check. It's in the stars. Okay, so everything is, like, obviously devoid of color. But he built his base quite far up. That, um, let's get a way to go outside here. And 
you see the stars are actually in the sky with you. Oh yeah, yeah, that's nice. I yeah, didn't that's, know that. That's pretty cool. No, I noticed that they moved around and stuff when you walked by. Like they were up high, like stars normally would be. So I always just thought they were like little will o wisps or, or you know something that gives that it like a starry five. effect. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, I think uh, Time to Kill had a great idea. He said, "I wanted to build, um, I wanted to build like uh, one of those like spaceships, like just yeah, hovering absolutely. above the ground and building it in this biome is going to be the best idea. Like a spaceship in between the stars. Yes, <laughs> super good. Everything is so intricate. Whenever they I've... build a what? I was going to say whenever they build a vehicle." Like, if they can make it, like, zoom through this biome and you just see the stars shooting across the screen, like on Star Trek or something. Yeah, absolutely. That'd be, That'd be like, cool. so, so amazing. Okay, so <sighs> we've been to almost everything so far. Uh, we've been to the Alien Door. I've, I've Secret seen that. Secret Society. The Secret Society. Let's go and see what's happening in the Secret Society. I mean, what do you guys guess this would be? Oh, this is the secret society. So, oh, yeah. yeah, then you go into, I don't know. We can go check out this biome. I'm not sure if there's anything happening inside. Probably nothing. Like we checked out before. Let's see. I am, we can quickly run there. Come on. I hate that there's no jetpack in here. Okay, and please tell me there's a teleporter here or I'm going to have to run all the way back again. Doesn't look like there's a teleporter here and it doesn't look like anything's happening here. So I'm going to run out. <laughs> I'm going to get out of this. You know, what's really yeah. funny is um, when I started my new series, I think one of the first places that I came to was this biome. And uh, that's, that's right. You got stuck. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I got like stuck in like a loop. And uh, but what was really funny is the fact that I mean, I hadn't even started terraforming the planet yet, but yet this place was like full of trees and grass and water and everything already. I was like, oh, that's a bit of a glitch. <laughs> well, the wardens had their own special warden powers to keep the place terraformed in yeah. their own little region. Yeah, I guess. And that's why they had to escape the planet. <laughs> <laughs> Makes 100% sense. Okay, so that's the secret society. And uh, I'm not sure if you guys saw the heater farm. The heater farm is pretty much made like my it, heater farm. It looks yeah, exactly I, I like saw mine. that. And the next one, the last one we got is we got the Teen Titan Tower. Yeah. So, oh, I've seen that before, but well, well, let's go there. <laughs> the TTTs. Okay, so this is um, by the waterfall biome, I guess. It's massive. We've got a courtyard that I don't know what's happening in, but cool. I guess this is still under construction. This is obviously still going to be made into something spectacular. Yeah. And we got a whole bunch of random like ore extractors here getting iron and all the other things that he needs, I guess. Those are the Titans. Iron and titanium. And titans go. Oh my <laughs> goodness. What? Uh -huh. Oh yeah, he's still finishing the top of the T. Nice. Whoa, this thing is massive though. Okay, I see a whole bunch of platforms coming into existence over there. It'd be a walkway, it looks like. Okay, let's see. Can we get up somehow? Mmm. I don't see any ladders going up, so I guess we're just going to F4 up. Oh, whoops. <laughs> okay, I guess I can't do that. Okay, there we go. Uh, we're going to do this. No ladders. I guess I'm going to stick to the middle. There we go. Okay, still, I guess there must be lots of stuff coming in here. Uh, okay, that's it. Okay, I don't really know exactly what this is going to be, but you guys know what this is supposed to be? Yeah, it's going to be in the shape of a giant T. 
yeah. Have you, you have you never watched the cartoon? No. Oh, okay. Oh, you have to. No. That's good. Sorry. <laughs> I'm like pulling a grandpa with you guys. I've not seen it yet. So it's going to be a it's, massive T. Yeah, yeah. They, they're, they're headquarters, the giant uppercase T. And they're like teenage superheroes, kind of. Yeah. Okay. They have like, yeah. Robin is their leader. Yeah. They don't really actually fight crime. They just have little domestic... Robin is the leader? Squabble. Not Batman? Yeah. Yeah. No, no, Batman is supposedly an adult, so he's not part of their group. Oh. But they have like, but Starfire and and Raven and Raven Beast Boy, and, and that Juggernaut or not? What's his name? He he's the guy uh, with the cyborg. Yeah, cyborg. cyborg yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of a it's kind of a funny and amusing show. I mean, even as yeah. an adult watching it, it's like, yeah, I can I can dig. I, it's not it's bearable to watch. Let me okay. Put it that way. Well, yeah. I guess that this platform is going to be for farming, just by the way. It says farm platform. Nice. So this is going to be a bit amazing. ambitious. It's going to be a massive <laughs> farm. I don't know if he's going to be able to fill all of that with farm plots, but you know, we'll, we'll see what the game gives us later yeah, well, on. It's good trying, I guess. Yeah. Okay, well. I don't really know where else to go from here. Yeah, I, think I we've agree. Pretty much seen... 2003 Teen Titans. Okay. 2013. I'm yeah. going to have to go and check it out. I'm going to go download it tonight. I'm going to watch all of it. So hopefully by the next like live stream, you know, I'm with it, with the group. <laughs> so I can also be cool like you guys. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, cool. Anyway, let's see. Uh, the last thing that I didn't see is the Stuff Mines. But I guess it just mines stuff. Stuff and things. Yeah, I guess it's just like mining stuff over there. Let's go and see the stuff mines. Ooh, stuff mines is really nice, actually. Beautiful. Ow. Oh. A lot of details gone into all the builds. It's nice. Stuff mines. Whoa, stuff mines is massive. Why have I not seen this yet? That's next to the haters. Yeah, but I saw the heaters, but I didn't see this. Hmm. Okay, let's go downstairs. I want to go see what's happening with the heaters. Um. Okay, if I can get downstairs. Oh, there, there's the ladders. Uh, the ladders in the center. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Got it. Stuff mines. Love the name, by the way. That's a really cool name. Okay, we got some... Some titaniums, magnesiums, some cobalt, and some silicons. And uh, wow, nice. this is massive. You see, I just saw the heaters. I didn't see this whole platform. Is there a hit, be, hidden by the rocks? Ah. And I think it's because and of fog. Yeah, yeah, all of the fog that I didn't get to see this. But that's brilliant. You got a drill area as well. But he's got a whole bunch of ore. Yeah, yeah, it's in the canyon. Yeah, that's true, actually. Oh, great. Right there. Boom. But all the drills oh, that you need. Okay. So, yeah, kind of cool. Oh, uh, yes. In the canyon. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> the, popular the canyon <laughs> is the spot to put the drills by just consensus, popular consensus. But Christopher yeah. Bose is That's ready where the drills for, go. for pure pressure. So, yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> and I need to go watch some cartoon because of peer pressure. Well, I like yeah. the whole symmetric, like, vibe of going on that this whole, like, facility's got going on. Very yeah, enough. Absolutely. This stuff Mines looks very beautiful, despite the name. <laughs> stuff mines. I would have imagined just a whole bunch of mines like mining stuff. <laughs> like nothing special. <laughs> but yeah, very cool. And I think that's about the end of it. My goodness. Yeah. Really enjoyed this one. Today's like uh today's live stream <laughs> really surprised me. Um I think both maps surprised me. I, I didn't think they were like as illustrious as they are, but they definitely mm. are. Um, so well done. Yes, both of them very well done. I applaud both people on their creativity. Very, very cool. 
Um, this is Vanilla Gorilla, and before that was Chris Van Dyke. Both maps, really, really cool. And uh, yeah, I think uh, this is a great place to put a pin in it. Anyway, what do you guys think? Absolutely. Oh, I like both of these maps a lot. Yeah, yeah. I, ten I agree. Ten out of ten for I, both. Yeah, everyone yeah. just gets ten out of tens. Nice. See, that's why that's why I I don't do the whole numerical rating system because if somebody gets a nine, they're gonna. They're like, why nine, a nine? I get it, ten. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, right. I yeah, I love both of them. They were because really there's good. trash on the ground. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 10 out of 10 for trash on the ground. <laughs> like, well done. <laughs> Get 10 for that. <laughs> anyway, yeah, two thumbs up. That's the way to go. Yeah, I also give it two thumbs up. Great job. Thumbs up. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Anyway, guys, uh, that's about it for this episode. Anyway, thank you so much for tuning in for another live stream. And remember, if you guys want to get your base like uh, reviewed, just join the, the Discord and uh, upload your base. And we can yep. check it out. If you have trouble finding your saves, there, there is a pinned comment. That's right. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you so much. We'll see you guys again next time. Bye. Uh, bye. Peace out. <laughs> okay, we're out.